Hi, this is Vaughan, and today I'd like to show you how you can enter music using LilyQuick into LilyPond using Friscovaldi or your favourite text editor. Um, the main advantage is that you can hear the, because it uses the MIDI keyboard, you can hear the music as you put it in. Anyway, firstly I've started LilyQuick, typed LQ, put in my password, and it tells me I can exit with F8. And here's what I need to press on the numeric keypad to get various note values. Over here I've got a little piece by Gobert. It's um, the end of a, a flute piece. It's got some pretty high notes in it. So I'll start entering that. First thing I need to do is enter the key. Press F9. And for two flats I press minus two on the keypad. Plays me at a B flat. It indicates some two flats. And I'll press the... the um, the bar length, which is a dotted um, dotted quarter. To get bar length, I type F10, 4 dot, and enter. Now it will count the um, count the notes as I go and give me automatic bar checks. Okay, so first note is E flat. Press the E flat on the keyboard and press 2 for semi quaver. to the end of the bar, automatically puts a bar check in. Oh, I, if I wanted to undo that, I just press clear, for undo, and does it put, put, put the C back in. I'll keep on going. Press 4 for a quarter. Press equals for a tie. Three for thirty-two. Now I've got a um, big, big tuplet. Press eight for tuplet. And type one three dash one two for the tuplet value. Enter. puts it puts the bracket in for me. I start entering the. Just that for me. Now, next next note is tied. To get a tied note, you put in a, a note value that's larger. So I'll press five, which you normally do a half note or a minimum. Then um, so that produces a, f a dotted dotted quarter with a tie, and I'll type in the next note. G. Rest, rest. Lastly, I want that bar of rest. I'll um, press 7 and a 1, enter. That's it. I'll save it and see if it, it um, compiles. Good. The next thing I'd like to show you is a little piece of mine, a little excerpt of a piece of mine. As you can see, it's got lots of flats. It's um, the key's in signature is six flats, but it's really in seven or eight flats. Um, and so the first thing I'll do is enter the new key into LilyQuick. Press F9. I've already done it before in a previous take. I'll do it again. Minus seven. And new bar length, which is one. Press F10, 1, enter, to tell it it's 4-4. Four, four. Where's my default? Here's my default. Press, um, just press the numeric keypad by itself for rests. 4 for a quarter, and 2 for a sixteenth. Some equal sign for a tie. Oops. 
save that and see if it compiles. Looks good. Lastly, lastly, I'll show you um, how chords work and how the pedal works. You might need a pedal to reach big chords. Also, um, I'll show you relative mode. So we've got a little um, famous piece by Bach here. We'll enter that in, not exactly as it's notated there. That's not the point for this video. Um, first thing I'll do is enter to one flat. F9 minus one. Gives us one flat. And press some F10 for bar length, two dot. Enter. You have three, four. And press shift F F9 to toggle between absolute and relative mode. I'm also showing relative mode. Absolute mode, again for relative mode. Press it D. <coughs> and here we go. So press the chord. Four dot. Now at the end of the measure, I'll press enter. That resets the counting. Use the pedal for this one. Press a dot for four dot. there, save it and see if it compiles. Very good.